Hi, Bruce. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings. Uh, congratulations. Yeah. Uh, and, you know... <laughs> Go, you know, making those three records and then improving them—that was that was really pretty sneaky on your part. Yeah, it, it, it came out well. We're we're happy with the with the set, you know. Yeah. You got Tom Zimney there. You I do have Tom Zimney. This is Tom Zimney. Well, hey, Tom. Greetings. <laughs> uh, so so, what can you tell? I mean, people. I think the thing people were most curious about now, because they have the box set in their hands. Is is the concert tour and uh, what we have to look forward to because it's an unusual format for you. Well, it started out, you know, we, we made the box set and uh, there was no plans to tour, you know. Um, and then we thought, well, maybe we should do a show just to raise the flag and have some fun and uh, you know make it a little more exciting. So we said, okay, well, maybe we'll do a show in New York. And, uh, then, of course, it turns out, maybe we should do a couple of shows, you know. And then it turns into, well, maybe we should do a small series of shows, you know, one <laughs> night, basically one night, is with, with, with the, <laughs> one or two, uh, you know, maybe a little bit around the country. So, And we ended up with, 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 that, with that idea just because it seemed like a... Uh, uh, if you're going to get everybody together for a show, and particularly a show that's as specific as this one, then you might as well uh, play it out a few times and uh, get around and get a chance to see everybody. So uh, that's kind of how we, we it, it, it came around. And then, of course, the idea was to do the river top to bottom because we've only done it once before. And my recollection was it was a, a very good night of, of music when we when we played at the garden. And it's something we haven't done, uh, so just unique for the fan, you know. If you if this was an album you really liked and you, you were ever curious to hear it played uh, in concert, you know, this would be a shot for you to, to hear it. And uh, it does change up certain things. Uh, I don't know who your last caller was, but it sort of it takes a little of it's going to take a little of a guessing out of the evening. <laughs> they're going to know what the next, <laughs> they're know what the next song is, but. Uh, as opposed to a normal concert where you don't know what the Whitney next song right. is like. <laughs> Maybe we'll make up for some of that in the encores or something. You know, we probably plan to pick out some of the uh, best of our outtakes and and uh, uh, for the end of the show, and along with obviously some you know some fan favorites. You know, so uh, uh, we I don't know myself how it's all going to play out, but it should be it should be interesting and, and a lot of fun and and hopefully enjoyable for the fans. Yeah, um, you've also reconfigured the band for this tour. Yeah, that we just stripped it down to pretty much the basic, the basic band as it's been since nineteen eighty five, or you know, including Steve, uh, and uh, of course Jake will be along, uh, and Susie Tyrell. Uh, but it's basically we, you know, we we won't have the horns, we won't have the singers, and it's going to be a little more of a rock band format. Uh, and I'm looking forward to that for a little while and and seeing how that feels again. And it should be perfect for this for this record and and for what we're doing right now. Yeah, and it really does change it from what you did. If as I remember, I know Kurt was there. Did you have a whole horn section at the garden? I'm thinking, was there a whole horn section at the bar garden, Jim? When Bruce did the river? Uh, no. no, just Kurt. Uh, maybe river, it was just Kurt. No, it was, the horn section was there the night of Wild and the Innocent. Oh, that's what it was, yeah. I think maybe Born to Run for 10th Avenue, but I don't believe it, but not for the river. Okay, my mistake. Yeah. So uh, uh, it should be, that should be a nice, should be a, a nice lineup. You know, I'm looking forward to that. Well, it's a, it's an exciting record, and it's exciting to see it sort of revived this this month. Yeah, yeah, it's something I haven't uh, uh, I haven't listened to it again myself, but I, I I did listen to the single album. That was fun <laughs> because you know it was it was it, that was it, that was the record. It did get handed in, and it was good. And the thing that was really sweet about it was Bob Clearmountain mixed the entire thing. So if you wanted to know what it would have sounded like 
for Bob Clear Mountain to be a part of of our creative line. A previous to Born in the USA, that was it, you know. And the record does have a very different tone, even contrast the two ties of binds, the one that got on the album and the one that Bob mixed. Uh, Bob's is pretty good, pretty darn good. Or, you know, everything he mixed on that record is is really pretty exceptional. So it was it was fun putting that together and listening to that straight through as sort of a, what might have been. But uh, I still think we were right to hold off and, and get the big spread of material that we got. But but I I, I do like that single record now that I listen back to it. Well, it's always yeah. nice when you can have something like that both ways because yeah, both are pretty yeah. gratifying. Yeah, so the package allows to do that. And we found some nice outtakes that hadn't been released or, or released very, you know, uh, only amongst the real, the real uh, diehard fans that dig them out before. And then uh, it's nice to get that stuff out too, you know. And we, you know, when you put that together with the uh, stuff that we had from the box set, you realize there was a large, there was another double album of of really pretty, you know pretty good material that, that we were making our choices from. So uh, uh, we made a lot of music, a lot of music during that period of time. And uh, a lot of it stands up very well, so be looking yeah. forward to playing some of it. Yeah, and this is beyond tracks, so that's that's fascinating in itself, yeah. that there was that much left. Yeah, yeah, it was. And uh, uh, it was exciting. It was fun pulling that stuff out and, you know, spit shining it. Yeah, well, it'll be fun to see what if you can uh, uh, grab some more of it and do the same on stage. Yeah, we'll knock we'll knock some of that stuff out, you know. So it's uh, just that, and I'm glad to get a chance to tour. We I guess the last kind of year and a half at least, hasn't it? I think since we played. Yeah, like and, May uh, of May of uh, fourteen. Right, you know. So or thirteen. But that was part of it too. I knew that we hadn't played in a while, and then the project I'd been working on was more of a solo project. And uh, so it wasn't a project that I was going to probably take the band out on. So I said, well, gee, that's going to push the band playing again till uh, a ways into the future. You know? So I said, well, this will be nice. It will be nice to get some playing in, you know, so you don't end up being two or three years in between uh, the E Street tours. And so this is going to give us a chance to get out there and uh uh, stretch our legs and, and muscles a little, stretch our muscles a little bit. So I'm looking forward to that happening. And it's, uh, I'm just playing with the guys. I'm just playing. Period. So it'll be fun. <laughs> that was my next question. Is like, do you miss it? Um, which I figured you did, but anyway, listen. I don't want to. I don't want to hold you past your uh, your uh, sell by date. But uh, thank you for calling. All right, that's coming. And uh, yeah, <laughs> and <laughs> you know, and and. Uh, you know, we look forward to talking to you and seeing you and hearing you uh, starting in about a month. Yeah, yeah. Best to all fans. You know, thanks for hanging in with us. And uh, we'll be out there uh, having a good time with you. Looking forward to that. All right. Take care, Bruce. Take Happy care, Christmas. Bruce. All right, take Thank care, you, Bruce. Say bye-bye, Tom. Take care, Bruce. Talk to you soon. All right. <laughs> Well, you know, it's a, it's a, the whole theory of this channel is that anything can happen at any given moment, and <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> there there's the best example of it yes. ever. <laughs> <laughs>